Yo, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be talking about creating a getter method. So this is the basis of encapsulation. We're basically adding another layer to getting values from these fields. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So take a look at our custom class here, this user class. Inside of this class, we have these fields here, first name and last name. Right now, they are public. And what that means is we can assign a value to them directly, such as user.firstName, or whatever we name the variable. Although this works, I'm not saying it's a terrible idea, it just depends on what you're doing. In some situations, you're going a little bit more control. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do in this video and the next video. We're gonna create the getter here and the setter in the next one. So let's go to our class and I'll show you how to do it. So we're just going to create a method and this is going to get the value of a field. So we're going to call it and expect to get something in return, keyword return. So we need to make a return statement that's going to give us the value. That means we need to put what type it is and because we're going to be grabbing a string that's the return type. So it's a public string. And then by convention, we'll start it with get. And then we'll just say first name. And I'm using camel case here. So first letter lowercase, then each word uppercase. Parentheses and set of curly braces. Now, do we actually have to pass in anything as an argument? No. So we don't have to define any parameters. We just ask for the name and it's given back to us. And then the, the code here is actually really simple. We just say return first name. Put a semicolon and it's happy. So now we can change this public to a private and we can get that value through this method, which is public. So it's basically blocking access. It's not doing anything fancy here because it's literally just getting the value and giving it to us, but we can modify it. So for example, I can say to uppercase and that's going to give us the value back in all caps. But we have one issue here, there's not an actual way to assign a value to the first name, so in our calling code, we're gonna have an issue. Hovering over this, it says, the field user.firstName is not visible, because it's private. So what we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to create a setter, which is another method similar to the getter, just a little bit different. So go check that out, it should be pretty easy. I'll see you in the next one.